The fixtures have been announced for the 2023-24 season. And let's dive into it. It was earlier on the day, but guess what, guys? There was other stuff to be done. And, uh, yeah, so we're just literally just going to go through every game. Of course, these are subject to change with Champions League, Europa League. I doubt there'll be any Conference League, but, you know, it could potentially be Conference League um, football post uh, January. So, yeah, so we kick off the season away to Kelly. Not easy. Rugby Park, plastic pitch. Not ideal starting venue, if we're being honest. But you know what? We're going to have to play there eventually, so... May as well get it out the road. First game of the season. A tough game. Like, if you remember last year, away to Levy. It was Tavernier who had to step up there. Will he have to step up here again? Who knows? Hopefully it'll be one of the new signings that did the stepping up. Talking to Levy, though, they are game number two at home. Easy enough. I might try and get to that game. Um, I'll see what's happening. Uh, we have got away to Ross County, so we're in Dingwall. So... Yeah, two tough away games, I guess, but let's be real, it should be nine points out of nine. And crucially, the first old firm of the season is at home. It feels like it's been, i say forever, like the last time it was that is when we won the league and we beat in Hollander's header, beat them uh, in Ange's first season. So hopefully um, th that is going to be crucial. If we, if we can take nine points out of nine and beat them at Ibrox, which we've looked quite good at Ibrox under Beal against them, it will be it will be a great restart. Then away to St Johnson, tough but very doable. Then two home games in a row against Motherwell and Aberdeen. Aberdeen, who will be oh god Jesus, we've already went past quite a lot there. Aberdeen, who will be in a lot of uh, European action, so that's hopefully benefit us. Then we then have got away to St Mirren. Uh, then with two tough home games in a row again against Hibs and Hearts, but we should. Be winning them. What one's around my birthday? The fuck, there's not even one around my birthday. Is it my birthday? Is it? Um, might go to that Hibs game. Birthday present and the Hearts game. Birthday week. What else we got here? Uh, we've got Dundee away. St Johnson at home. Levy away. Aberdeen away. Right, so that is a tough week. That's a tough period in there, isn't it, man? That really is. Uh, we then got St Mirren at home. Hearts away. Dundee at home. So yeah, I mean, looks like November and December are going to be very tough months. It is like, I mean, it's very tough and you've got away. So you've Aberdeen, Hearts and Hibs, away to Motherwell, all pretty close with each other within like a month and a couple of weeks. Um, then you've got Ross County, then we've got a massive, I mean, that's a tough period, man. Away to Hearts, away to Hibs, away to Motherwell, away to Aberdeen, away to Levy, away to Celtic. Uh, we then got, so yeah, second old firm, not on New Year's Day, surprising, um, or even like the second, it's actually still in 2023, we've then got Kelly at home, and then we have the break of course, so 25 days off, I'm sure will be a Scottish Cup game one in there at some point, then we've got Levy at home, we've then Aberdeen, then we've got St Johnson, home to Hearts, away to Levy, Home to Motherwell, away to Dundee, home to Hibernian, and home to Celtic on 6th of April. And then the last game before the split is going to be the 13th. And then the five split dates are 27th of April, 4th of May, 11th of May, 15th of May, and then... 18th and 19th of May, so a wee bit earlier into the season, of course, this year, what ended around, what was it like the 28th it ended, wasn't it, because Hearts game was the 24th, so it must have been like the 28th, 29th around that reading, so, yeah guys, nothing particularly crazy, I mean, we always get it tough around November, December, so it's not like that's a shock to the system or anything, but, yeah, looking forward to it, I'm going to buy that away kit soon. And uh, what else have we got? I mean, there's not really an awful lot to really call it. I mean, the Celtic games, we've got the 3rd of September, the 30th of December, and then the 6th of April. Then, of course, there'll be one in the split. Unless one of us doesn't finish in the top six, but I think you could stick your mortgages on that happening, guys. But anyway, leave your thoughts down below. We'll be back with some transfer news later. There is your post-split, post no, your season 
fixtures reaction all hell yeah